Good afternoon and evening, everyone. That's a spade today. It is Friday. It's Friday, September 20th, 2024. Day 264. I almost made a mistake. I thought it was day 265. No, no, it's not. It's day 264. And, um, it's a relatively mild Friday. Although I will say it's really hot today. It's about 105 Fahrenheit. It's... We're, we're at the end of September right now, and it is still... Um... If this controller... Okay, you know what? Let's try it that way. It is still... It's still in the hundreds. Anyway, there's not a whole lot going on right now. Um, Buttercup had a virtual day today, because apparently they were doing, like, some, like... Teacher lessons kind of thing or something. So they had all the students at her school stay home today to do virtual classes, and it's all done nice and easy. The cat has not been over here today, which is fantastic. My allergies are feeling thankful for this. But I am going to turn this tanner off real quick, but that means I have to be staring straight down so I can show what this world is because, uh, believe it or not, it's listed under new and noteworthy, but, um, we. Might need to roast this world. I... I don't like saying it that way, but... Um... If this is your per... This world, apparently, is a room... Is a, is a room stand. So someone stands their hole. Anyway, I'm gonna turn this camera off for everyone. There you go. See, look at that, my piece, piece. I don't know why I said that, but anyway. Um... Right. Here we go. We are in my map in September 2024 by Chief BD7A. The scan of your living situation. So is this like you did a scan of your living situation because you're like asking for help? Or you want us to critique your room because you're openly saying this is this is a scan of your living situation you, of your living situation. Keep BB7, I don't know why my thing did that. All right, babe. Anyway, we're gonna... We're gonna go ahead and turn this off now. I'm here. I don't know. Hello, hello. Hello to the Egan. One thing I will say that I do appreciate. Um, i gonna pull it up again. Your name, I mean. Uh, I'll just call you, uh, Cheats. Keith, one thing I will appreciate is that you hang your onions up. I do appreciate that you hang your onions. That that increases their shelf life. That's awesome. And you also, you get sweet yellow onions. You be oh, I don't know if they're the sweet onions, but they're the common yellows. I like sweet yellow onions. They're really really good. Really good to cut with, and if you get just the right sweet yellow onions, they don't burn your eyes anywhere near as much as say like a red or a white onion. White onions are the worst when it comes to you know the whole making you tear up. Oh, it is the absolute worst with white onions. Yellows and sweet yellows are the most mild. The sweet yellows, they shouldn't burn your eyes at all, and they taste amazing, even if you don't cook them. But anyway, um... He has his... Uh, these, you have your toaster oven right here. You have a toaster oven and a toaster. I'm gonna be honest with you, if you have a toaster oven, you don't need a toaster. That's that's just my thinking. We don't have a toaster oven here because we have an oven. But we do have a toaster, but no toaster oven. What we do have, though, is we have a dehydrator. And, um... So you got your mini fridge down here? Um... Your... If for this being a September 2024... You might need to consider changing some of your decorations on your mini fridge, Thief. And, um, your, your general electric microwave needs some cleaning. Not too bad. Hopefully the inside's just fine. But believe me, I will sympathize with you on that. I severely, I severely dislike cleaning microwaves. It's a pain in the butt. Especially since, uh, by the look of it, you and, you and I are in the same situation where we don't have a, a dishwasher. Everything's hand washed. I also feel kind of bad that you only have this, um, this... Why, why is my hand doing, why am I doing that? 
I do feel kind of bad that you only have one single electric, um, heating surface. I don't know what they, you can't call it an electric skillet because it's not the cooking surface itself. I see, ooh, you have a crock pot. It's a smaller crock pot, though. I, um, I gotta say, I don't really, I'm pretty sure that is the brand. Although, I'm pretty sure that's the brand of crock pot. Although I have not seen them so incredibly round before, I've not seen them round crock pots. I mean, I like the orbicular ones, but that's because I don't get, I don't do with smaller crock pots. I only do the larger ones because, well, this is a family of four. I don't believe we don't even have a crock pot anymore. Oh, little, if you do, ha if you do have this, it's really good for making um slow hounding chicken breast to make street tacos. This is what you want to be using. You want to be, use this. Same thing if you get like um, a beef roast or a small brisket. Put it in one of these if you don't have a smoker. Just put it in there for several hours with all your spices and everything. You just shred it up and have your street tacos that way. This is the tool you want. So I appreciate that you have that. I'm guessing this was a candle? Or maybe it's just display. Um... This baking powder, you got flour. And I do like that you have your peppermint tea, so peppermint tea is good. I like peppermint tea. Uh, ooh, oh, oh, I know this one. I know, I know this tea right here. I know it. This tea right here. Mm -hmm. It's Earl Grey. I recognize that label. That's Earl Grey tea. And that's a, that's a good brand of Earl Grey, too. We don't have that brand in particular, but we do have some decent Earl Grey. But we also have, like, toasted coconut. We, okay, in our house, we have a ton of different tea. I mean, we still have Lily. We still have Lily's, um, blooming tea. Although, blooming tea is a little on the pricier side, but it's well worth it. But I, w I would say blooming tea is more of a social tea. And these are up by yourself. And I'm pretty sure this is sleepy time tea. This bottom one right here, I'm pretty sure that's sleepy time tea. And then you've got these little knick -knack. Let's put the owl. Owl knickknacks. Um, uh, pretty sure. I'm gonna bet this one's got more of your flour in there, and this one's got beef burger. Um. <laughs> teeth. Why are you drinking decaf? Why are you drinking decaf coffee? That's decaf. And I know it's great value. That's fun. Great value. You get what you can afford. But I... What? When I need to have a lot of coffee on hand, I just put Folgers in the freezer, but I can tell you don't have a freezer, so... But... I see that you have great value enriched rice. My suggestion for you is stop eating enriched rice. Don't in, don't eat enriched rice. That's can add to um weight gain. And the reason is they take all the nutrients from the germ of a grain of rice. They take all of that out and they enrich it with artificial vitamins and stuff like that, like riboflavin and stuff like that. Oh, uh, there there's there's a guy I watch on YouTube. He does a whole ton of shorts on. I'll be eating on a bu- uh, and I think I'll be eating on a budget. Believe me, I understand how difficult it is to eat on a budget. I really do. But, you can get, um... You you can get large, like, 20 pound bags of basmati rice. Yeah, for like... 23 dollars US. I think... It, it might vary from state to state, but I know here, for us here in Oklahoma, it's about $23 for a bag of basmati rice. I like basmati rice because I like really long grain rice. If I get a for it, I'd be getting wild rice, especially black wild rice that has not been separated from its germ. That's the good stuff. Now, you could get brown rice, because brown rice has not been separated from it, from you know, the germ and everything. So if you have to, just make sure it's not enriched, but just get some great value brown rice. Your stomach will thank you. Let's see, you've got lemon pepper. I know that black pepper. Looks like you got some allspice over here, some nutmeg. 
which has been so here. Although I will say, um, I know that a lot of sauce back here. You barely, barely. Let's see if I can stop. But uh, you're hiding a few other McCormick spices back here. But this bottle right here, I'm pretty sure. Let's see. I'm pretty sure it's. It must not be so hot sauce, but it's not. It's a very plain hot sauce. Tabasco is a more versatile plain hot sauce, but that was okay. Um, you know, I keep. I have to remind myself that this is an inactive wall right here. I almost grabbed it to try to peek up here. I like you, Duster. Which means you keep your ceiling bin dusted. This is awesome. I will say doing a stand up here. Um... There, there, there are a couple things on here that if they're... Certifications, then I would do a rescan of... If I were you, I'd do a rescan of your room and put the certification down just in case. Um... You need a better vacuum. I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna say. I mean, it's okay for the size place you have, but I would say get a better one. But then again, I, I'm- we're spoiled here in Altem Quator, being, you know, House of Quator, you know, land of four, whatever. Let's, don't need to keep doing translations, but anyway. The reason I say we're spoiled is we had a curvy vacuum. And the, and the circumstances we're having a curvy vacuum, we didn't buy it. No, we did not steal it either. The next door neighbors found one on the side of the road outside of the county along like, I think Highway 40 out here. They just found it and it was sitting out in their front yard for like two months. And I asked them about it. I was like, well, we have wood floors and we don't know how to work on these things. So it was like, uh... And I work on it. And like, uh, if you can get it working, it's all yours. We have a Kirby vacuum. And the reason, and a good reason for that is, uh, Tara knows how to work on Kirby vacuums. He knows the ins and outs of those things, but that's because you work for Kirby, Kirby sales, which, uh, you will never, ever advise anyone to take that job. Working for Kirby selling those vacuums is one of the most dangerous jobs he's ever had. A lot of bad stories about it. It was not a good job. But anyway, uh, so you got your yoga mat up here. Oh, uh, that's not a pizza box, is it? I'm, I'm really hoping that's not a pizza box, but that, to me, that looks like a pizza box. You know, I haven't had to use that Uh, Space Rangers VR, I, I like your VR poster, but uh, a hearty VR enthusiast, we can appreciate that. But, um, this dresser, I, 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 I really hate to say it, but we gotta clean this dresser, buddy. This, this is not okay. This is... If you're doing a room stand for everyone to check out your home or your living situation, I'm really hoping that this is just saying, hey, please, someone help me. So, please, just so you know, Tessa Spade's here to help you to say, hey, um, this deep fella, you might need help. The branch, you might want to get that cleaned up because that's just going to be bacteria buildup. And then, I see you, you eat a lot of rice products. You got your rice aroni, more rice aroni. I see that you be, uh, what is that? Uh, that's chicken of the sea tuna. So you got chicken of the tea, oh, chicken of the sea tuna. So you eat tuna and you have ramen. Wait a minute. What's that back here? Kelsey <sighs> eating Easy Mac and just leaving your boxes there, huh? Ah. Uh, Keith. Keith, we gotta have a conversation about you eating healthier. I understand eating healthy is very difficult on a budget, but believe me, we're uh, like here in Hotem Quator, we're doing our very best for a family of four to eat as healthy as we can. On a food budget of 400 a month. It is really, really hard. But, um... It did break it to you, Chief, but the, ro the real roasting is coming. Uh, everyone, everyone. We're gonna look into the bathroom. You, you, you signed up for this. Cause, uh... 
hey, hey, and check this out. I can put the camera there. It's like, I can tell everyone no peeking, but I'm I'm wearing clothes. But anyway, come with me. So this is Keep's bathroom. Um, I don't know how I feel about Zelda and Link from Breath of the Wild. Um, I don't know how I feel about them watching me on the toilet. But that's just me. I don't want to have posters and stuff in my bathroom. Um, your blackout shades, they're torn. But I'm certain you're aware of that. And, um, I do appreciate the double use of mouthwash here. Everyone can appreciate that. And, I know that brand of soap. I know that brand. I don't, I don't use Dawn soap, but that's because budgets. We either at all time quads or we use, we use, um, Ajax soap. But the Ajax soap we did find is, has fabuloso in it. And it smells so nice. We use it for our dishes and everything. We do have our hand soap. It's a little. I don't know how I feel about you storing your scrubs, your scrubber right here. That I'm not big on, but I'm, I'm certain that you have this area. Oh my goodness. If you have a serious fire hazard in your bathroom right now, if, if this is a recent stand, you have a fire hazard in your bathroom right now. Keith? Do you see that? Um, excuse me. That is not good. That is not okay. You need to get all of that dust. All of that dust and wind. Get that cleaned off of your, your electrical outlet and your power strip right now. Get it done because that is a fire hazard. One spark, that's going up like it. That's going up like, um... Exploding confetti? But get that cleaned up. That is not good. But... Continuing the roasting. Well, uh, You went old school over here. You actually have a pooping book. Who has a pooping book anymore? Usually they just open up our phones when we poop. I... I gotta admit, I'm kind of impressed with that. I'm kind of impressed you have a pooping book. Although, was they... Isn't... Isn't that for, uh... That... That label kind of reminds me of, um... What do I say? It kind of reminds me of... Carwa. Like, it's just the coloration reminds me of something used for car washes. But I see that you've got two of them over here, which means it's gotta be for shampoo and conditioner. Let's scan over here. I can understand you've got a curtain right here, so this the scan is doing a whole heap of assuming. But I will say if this scan has any accuracy, you've got a lot, a lot of soap scum. But <laughs> doesn't. Sorry, but then especially in our house, it's hard to keep up with because they it's used to all the crime. Although I won't find it weird that you're saying, hey, I'm a VR person, but look at my living situation, and you have an old person shower stool. I'm a little confused by that. Not a lot. Excuse me? You remember me mentioning that you gotta get that lint cleaned off of your power outlet. And you're running an electrical heating unit in here at the same time? That's what's connected to it? Get it cleaned. You're, that, that can, um... I gotta, I, I'm just gonna, um, that can get someone killed. If that, if that lights up and you're asleep in your single bed, with how fast that can spread, I don't know if you can wake up fast enough, so get that cleaned up. That's not okay. Anyway, the roasting continues. Um... I will see. Um, no, I'm not really gonna complain. You're living by yourself in a cabin. So having your rifle out right here is just normal. Not to mention you're literally in a one-person room. 
in kind of the middle of nowhere, so it makes sense to have your rifle at the ready. <sighs> well, you have full body trackers. I, I can appreciate that. So they have full body trackers down here. Oh, that's a BB gun. Okay. So it's just a BB gun. Ah. <laughs> Ah, uh, well, that, um, I do like that you have some of these figures up here, right here. Well, you did escape <laughs> your room. Uh, I will try to refrain, because, uh, we, we, we all had our, we've all had our phases, but if you think about it, I'm, I'm a parent in my thirties, so. I, I, I will say my kids like that series. The newer one, though, was just weird. We didn't, we just like, you know, it's too weird. But right now, our kids are into watching one particular YouTuber who does a lot of crafting. She, uh, the YouTuber, I don't remember her name. Buttercup would be able to tell me, but I'm kind of busy right now. But, uh, she's into a YouTuber that does, uh, squishy makeovers. Is, is what they call, is what she calls it. But, um,. I will say, I'm, I'm looking at, oh dear, um, by the look of this, I'm guessing that your glass panel for your computer broke. If that's the case, just take the glass off. But I, that might not be the, I will say though, you probably shouldn't have your monitor directly in front of your computer. Because that's just the interacting with each other. Because without a glass panel right there, the heat's gonna blow out the side of your computer. Which, I, I gotta admit, I don't keep the glass panel on my computer either. I removed it. It's still intact, but I removed it. Because all the heat from the GPU doesn't like to blow out the back of the unit. It needs to move so much heat with the fans that it also tries to blow out the side. So if you have a higher end GPU, say like 3080 and, a, and above, and newer, you could probably not keep your glass panel on there, because all it's going to do is blow directly onto your glass panel and keep your whole computer up. That's what happened to us, so we took it off. I'm just gonna look for a mesh, kind of like a screen door kind of thing, and I'm just gonna put that there on our computer. Um, let's see, this is must be a gaming setup, and then... I think I have the same microphone. I could be wrong, but a, oh no, that's a different microphone. We the Blue Yeti, I'd like a better one. But, um, I see that you've got this TV here and that TV over. Oh, that TV over there. Okay, this TV might not. Uh, oh, this one is tiny here, but you also set it up for where that's the, the YouTube viewer for those in VR. And then you've got another one here. Which has something on there. And my guess is that one is for a gaming system you might have somewhere. Do you? Yes, you have a Nintendo Switch back here, which means it's connecting to this TV. And you you gotta have a game capture card here somewhere. Yeah, it's right behind your Switch. You've got a game capture card as well. We have one. I have one for my Switch as well. Well, I should say Terra does. And your speakers are better than ours. That's, that's cool. But, um... <laughs> you need to dust off... You need to dust off your index. That's a lot of dust on your index. If it's if the dust is that bad... Your box for your index is right up here, buddy. Store it in there and you can get the dust out. Not to mention spiders. Believe it or not, leaving your headset out, especially during the summer and early autumn, that's a that's a great place for spiders to go. Hey, this is a great place to set up stuff. I've seen videos where people had scorpions fighting inside the um, the lens section of their headsets, where they just showed and there were scorpions inside their headset. So, uh, yeah, I'd keep it stored in the box, but we gotta have a talk. I understand we quit drinking, but if 
by the look of it, because you also have an empty bottle of crown up there next to... Well, next to your... Next to your laundry detergent, you have bought an empty bottle of crown. You can tell it's empty because it's not amber. But you have that and you have an almost empty bottle of Everglear over here. If you have an issue with drinking, my advice is don't keep the alcohol in sight. Wait. Keep it in your... Keep it in your... Yeah, keep it in your mini fridge. That'll help you. Because if it's out of sight, you're not going to want it as often. But... Uh, let's see, you've got some noise pants, some, uh... Oh, noise pants only have... They're not that. What are they? Earmuffs. That's where it is. Earmuffs. Simple BBD player. Which is fine. But it's what was playing when we came in here that made me feel slightly uncomfortable because I like to have an escape away from my child's entertainment sometimes. But, um, your hamper could use some organizing. That's normal. That is normal. Believe me, we try to keep all our clothes, like our dirty laundry, in our hampers. But Sweet Pea, our youngest, who's three, well, I gotta say, she finds her hamper and yanks everything out. And as soon as we put it back in there and she notices we're not in the room, the first thing she'll do is she'll run back into the room and then tear everything out of the hamper again. Don't mess the mess of a step up from our situation. What I will say that that uh, is confusing though is why are you keeping your pet's uh, kennel in a fireplace? For me, that's weird because in the wintertime, I want to use a fireplace. I'd love to have a fireplace. So the fact of using it as a pedal storage is kind of frustrating. But again, that's probably just me. Uh, and I do kind of like that you have a replica master sword over here. I, I, I do kind of like it. Oh, oh, oh. You probably shouldn't have put collisions on your bed. Because now we can check. And by the look of it, what well, did this? How did, how did you even get us to stand up here? In all honesty, I'm, I'm not upset. I'm more impressed that you got a scan up here, too. Relatively speaking. But by the look of it. No. You did a good job with your dust. You must have a dust allergy. If you have a dust allergy, why is your why is your power strip in your bathroom so filthy? Clean it. Uh, I'm sorry, but that that level of dust is up there is awful. And if you have a dust allergy, based on where I'm staying up here, you probably feel horrible every time you go to the bathroom, especially when you're showering. But um, I gotta I gotta say. If you're, if you're an adult, your bed confuses me. I mean, I understand that it's a single bed. This, this... Uh, the apartment of a studio apartment, it's, it's not too bad. It's actually a, de a relatively decent size. I'd say it's, um... The whole thing right here, I'd say, is about... Probably about three times the size of my master bedroom. Oh, right, they, they, they were gonna start changing the, how they call, what they call that. I also see that you have, you keep your bottle of water under your microwave. I mean, I guess it's fine, it's not open. But, and you got, um, Sam's Club Soda. Or, not Club Soda, you have, you have Sam's Cola. That's fine. Although, I'm still waiting for places for companies like Coca-Cola to make a no sweetener whatsoever cola. If they're willing to make things like bubbly, please give me a no sweetener cola. I want the least want to try it because I do have an affinity for drinks with no sweeteners. I mean, I'm carbonated iced tea. No sweetener. And one, one random one that we tried recently is I, I had, I had what, just well, just white grape juice. And we carbonated that and it ended up tasting like non-alcoholic champagne. So it's pretty good. You, my friend. Beef? Get a soda streaming when you can. You'll like it. I, I, we love having a soda stream. But, um, 
There's one last rose we're gonna give you. I mean, you've got plenty of horses and pony plushes all over your bed. And... I understand this rogue blanket right here is out. I can tell where he got that. But... I think the Pokemon blanket and all, and all of that is throwing me off a little bit. But... The, I mean, everyone has a thing. It's... We don't keep any of it. I don't even like it when my kids... I don't even like it when our kids bring their stuffed animals into our bed. I... I don't like things in my bed. I toss and turn a lot. In all honesty, I would not be able to be on a sing on a single bed. I need like a full to a queen because of how much I toss and turn. Well, that's because I grew up with a life of insomnia, so it kind of makes sense. But the last rose of the day is if we come over here. Um, why do you have them? Why do you have these uh, particular objects hiding through your your um? Your front door? Why are those there? I, I, I'm concerned of whether or not I can show everyone. Um, I suppose if I keep it up here? Why do you have these? Why are the why, why are those hiding back here? You confuse me. I think these are oven mitts. Uh, I think we're about done here. What I can say is that you have, um, interesting lifestyle choices. But if you're upset that I uh, made fun of anything in here, you put a ring skin up for everyone to look at. And at the end of it, I can only hope that you're saying, hey, somebody please help me. But if you need some help... You should have put them, put that in your description or something. That is kind of cool that they have um, a room scan feature, but it's definitely not something I would use. I don't like the idea of scanning the room for everyone to critique or see anything personal, you know? Because my personal stuff is my business. Like... <sighs> um... Well, that's fine. You can get hell there, you blankets, your socks, I'm guessing. I will say, Thief, thank you. Thank you very much for not leaving a personal sock out in the open during your world scan. Thank you very much for not doing that. And I'm also hoping that's not what you do, because socks are for your feet, not for that. And I'm not going to talk about it. But... I'm really hoping this glass isn't just broken. I think that just might be a... Yeah, I think that's where it is. I think the flaw with the world scan is it doesn't do all, like, clear glass really well. But... It's alright. But if this, is, if this is your bitch's drying rack, I, I ain't gonna critique you hard for this one. If this is your dish's drying rack, why do you keep paper plates right here? You need to move your... You need to move your paper plates elsewhere. I can understand not having them right here because you have your little electric, uh... What do they call those? Pit... Camping stove? Because your little camping stove is right here, I didn't understand because it's your heated surface. But I, I, can, I can't exactly suggest keeping your paper plates right back here because that's where your, your clean dishes go to dry, which means you're getting your paper plates wet. It's yucky. Then, um... I will say, believe it or not, Buttercup had every one of these figures at one point. Oh, all of these ones right here. He had all of those. In fact, there's one that, um... One sweet bee doesn't and keep the habit of destroying everything. There is a figurine that we still have that will be able to go on display. It's not right now because we even run at everything. Yeah. Yeah, so that's, that's, that's enough critiquing. So, um... Fellow viewers, you are welcome to generate your own opinions. You can't say that I'm being overly mean or anything like that because, like I said, they're the ones that... Why to the effort of scanning their living situation.
what no about was no <sighs> and they made it public how about that it's a public world under new and noteworthy saying this is my home so this is keith's living situation i will say though when uh, when tara was 20 he had a similar situation in california not too much like this and definitely didn't have certain things that keith does but you gotta start somewhere, so I'm guessing this is your starter place away from your parents. That's my dinner, my best. And if that's the case, I do appreciate that you you keep your own spices and everything. That's a very good thing. I unfortunately I know a lot of people younger than my than myself that just don't cook whatsoever, and I find it utterly bothersome that people don't know how to cook. And you you the what is that? That's not foreign oil, and that's... Anyway, I, you know, I, I can't keep going over, over everything. I've done enough, right? Anyway, I, I do have to leave it there. Because it's... I gotta make dinner for the kids soon. It sounds like we're gonna do something simple again tonight. I wanted to have lentils, but the kids don't. They want to have, like, eggs. Just, you know, breakfast stuff. I suppose I could do that. But... <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna just have to leave it there because there's much to do. And at that, I, 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 you know, I was, I had to politely roast this place. I thought about being a little more, um, harsh. But then I'd just be mean spirited, you know? But yes, the, the primary thing, Keith, if you ever see this, get that dust off your power strip in your bathroom. Get it off of there because I, if you ever do a scan of your room, of your living situation again, I never, Ever. I never, ever want to see that kind of dust all over a power strip, especially one that's running an electrical heater. I never want to see that again, and I don't want to hear about it, hear a story of your, of your home or living situation burning down. Because I'm immediately going to think it was the dust. Please, please get that cleaned up. Anyone. I think I found one of my pet thieves is excess dust and wind. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Because, like I said, I need to... I need, I need to go make food. But anyway, everyone else, I hope you've enjoyed your September 20th Friday. But I enjoy the rest of your Friday. Because it is Friday, September 20th, 2024. Day 264. Because we're still sober. I... I Yes. Anyway, this is Tessa Spade, and we will see you all tomorrow on Saturday. So long, everyone.